I like minor parties. I like minor parties because they're a check on the extremes of both of the, the majors. The Greens are a major party and they are in and mm. of themselves the extreme. I support here. But about the about how you've seen things play out, Lauren, in the past few days about Australia and China, I love that our Prime Minister's got steel in his spine and won't wobble, but there are plenty of people in Australian politics, including our opposition leader, who is uh, just, you know, literally Monday, I agree with the Prime Minister, Wednesday, oh, we should remanage the relationship. China are laughing at us right now. That's why they're running around barking progressive slogans. The other day they were doing a commission on the U.S. telling them they needed to get their racism in check. No. Now they're talking about war crimes in Australia as if they don't have camps with Muslims in them right now, slave labor across the nation and massive political persecution. It's absolutely nuts. And to all the people that are sitting here saying, oh, we need to calm down. We don't want to... We don't want to piss off China and make them angry. That boat has sailed. As <laughs> soon as Australia and the government said, you know what, actually we are going to put our culture, our free speech, our sovereignty above economic interests and slight economic gain right now, that's when that boat sailed. When they said, actually, it's good for us to make an agreement with Japan for defense. Actually, no, we don't really agree with everything that's going on in the South China Sea. That's when that boat sailed. And anyone that is trying to weasel in some extra social credit points right now, you picked the wrong team. Hallelujah, sister. Wow. All right, look, you know, we'll never agree <laughs> about what to serve for Christmas, but you are the honorary Australian of the night.